looked at some of the massive structures on our planet to give us information on the age of our Earth. There are some things on a much smaller scale which show the Earth to be considerably older than 6,000 years. Now one of these is stalactites. Stalactites and stalagmites grow in pairs in caverns and caves, with stalactites forming from the roof and stalagmites forming from the floor. As water slowly finds its way through the rock above the cavern, it picks up tiny amounts of minerals from the rocks, like calcium carbonate extracted from limestone. This is because the water has a small amount of carbon dioxide dissolved within it, which forms a very weak form of carbonic acid. As the water then slowly emerges from the roof of the cavern, it drips down onto the floor, and some of the water evaporates, leaving behind an ultra-fine layer of minerals. Over a great many years, mineral deposits grow until a stalactite and stalactite merge together to form a single structure. Alternatively, the stalactite breaks off from the roof due to the masses of stalactite being too much for the whole structure to bear. Now, some formations created by this process are remarkably large given the slowness with which these structures are formed. But does that leave us with the question, how old are the actual oldest stalactites and stalagmites? Well, given the ideal conditions, a calcite stalactite formed from limestone rock can grow just over 10 centimetres per thousand years. A direct measurement via radiometric dating has given the oldest formations of these to be over 190,000 years old. However, other stalactites which grow slower, like those made from aluminium sulphide, were well over 11 million years old. Now, someone attempting to say that all stalactites are younger than 6,000 years old, they try to say that stalactites formed quicker back in history than in present conditions. However, there's too much water flowing, is not having enough time to evaporate to form the rock, too little, and there'll be hardly any minerals deposited at all. It's really difficult to increase the speed, certainly of calcite stalactite growth. But one factor that may have changed is the level of carbon dioxide in the water. With increased levels making it more acidic, they result carrying more dissolved materials. Now there are two points against this being a result of stalactites being very, very young. Firstly, over the last 6,000 years, carbon dioxide levels have been actually rising, not falling. And even then, if such a change did happen, it would, at maximum, reduce the age of calcite stalactites to something just over 100,000 years old, with the other stalactites still being several million years old. Now, all the examples I've gone through in these various videos are just a few of the dozens of scientific instances that show the Earth is over 6,000 years old. There are others such as uh, fossil records, permafrost, geomagnetic reversal, erosion, impact craters, the recession of the moon, lots and lots of other examples. Any one of these individually can prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the Earth is far older than 6,000 years. However, when you put them all together, it goes far beyond any reasonable doubt. Instead, we stated beyond all doubt, the Earth is far older than 6,000 years old. 